Silence! Silence by Thomas Hood. There is a silence where hath been no sound. There is a silence where no sound may be. In the cold grave, under the deep, deep sea, or in the wide desert where no life is found, which hath been mute and still must sleep profound. No voice is hushed. No life treads silently, but clouds and cloudy shadows wander free that never spoke over the idle ground. But in green ruins, in the desolate walls of antique palaces, where man hath been. Though the dun fox or wild hyena calls, and owls that flit continually between shriek to the echo, and the low winds moan. There the true silence is, self-conscious and alone. Now that I hopefully have your attention, I'd like to talk to you all about poetry. First and foremost, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank any and all of you here for giving me this opportunity to speak before all of you today. To start, allow me to make an introduction. Again, I'm Austin Graff, the 2012 Montana State Poetry Out Loud uh, National Recitation Contest Champion. Uh, not long after taking this title, I was asked to do a TED Talk on Poetry Out Loud and thought, why not? If this is an opportunity for me to present what I love, poetry, to the rest of the world, then I ought to take advantage of it. Thus said, here I am, speaking before all of you today. Poetry has been around for as long as any historian can trace it back. Initially, it was a form of art that was intended to be spoken, for only through spoken word can the emotion of a poem truly come forth. To quote a mentor, friend, and poet, Mark Gibbons, poetry is the only truly incorruptible expression of feeling or thought. Now, why is this, you may ask? Because there's no money in it. <laughs> Later, in the 17th, 18th, and 19th century, certain poets such as Lord Byron, Edgar Allan Poe, and Thomas Hood emerged all men of absolute magnitude. Truly, this was the last age of the spoken art, where poetry absolutely flourished. Wherever you went, the art was sure to make itself present. Nowadays, finding poetry in everyday life is nearly impossible. Yet, somehow, I found it here at Hellgate High School, in our very own Missoula, Montana. I was given an opportunity to recite as an English final and grabbed at it, not knowing later on how much I would end up benefiting. When somebody recites art, when they pour their, home, their heart into a poem and know and learn and understand and connect with it, it is the deepest form of love imaginable. And for anybody to share that love with our community is the greatest gift that they can possibly give. I encourage you all to bring poetry into your classroom or your home in hopes that others may also know that deep form of love and expression and may also have that opportunity to learn and to grow from immersing themselves as poetry like I have. Thank you. <laughs> 